Hello and welcome to another episode of Nathan Chu's Disney Review. I am your host, Nathan Chu, and it's been a while since I've done an episode. Life's been busy, busy December working and all these hours, and then uh, January getting getting engaged, uh, planning the proposal, making sure everything went all right with that, then having to get a new car, kind of had to put uh, doing this show on the back burner. Uh, and a lot has happened since I've done my last show in Disney World. Uh, lots of rides are down in Disneyland and preparing for the 60th anniversary, which they did announce a few new things for coming for the 60th. Not everything, but just some. The, the castle is going to be decorated um, with uh, diamond decorations, which kind of figured they would do that since they always decorate the castle. And then we got the nighttime parade that is coming, uh, the Paint the Night Parade. It's a parade similar to one over at Disneyland in Tokyo. And we also got a new World of Color that is uh, coming soon, as well as a new fireworks show, which is uh, very expected. But they also are going to add projections um, to Main Street for the fireworks show, Matterhorn. Uh, I think on the Rivers of America they're going to do projections as well as Small World. So you can pretty much see the fireworks almost from anywhere and still get some sort of great effect other than just watching it straight on the castle. Um, it'll be interesting to, to see that when it happens. I hope to make it out there for the 60th at uh, some point during that year. Uh, imagine I will at least one day to at least see some of these new things. But, but we'll see. Um, if anything, I will definitely have to check it out on people on YouTube who will be recording it. I know there's many places that uh, record it. But uh, today, And then we also have uh, Spider-Man uh, joining, uh, going to be joining uh, Captain America, Iron Man, all that in, um, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, with that, Sony agreed to do that for... Uh, for Disney, if uh, Disney agreed to help them with their Spider-Man franchise, which ever since Spider-Man 3 is kind of taking a downhill. Um, I actually like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I like those Spider-Mans. I actually like them better than Tobey Maguire. I think I'm in the minority here. Um, I think he played Spider-Man way better and looked more like Spider-Man than Tobey did. Tobey did a better Peter Parker, but Andrew Garfield did a better Spider-Man. Um, that's up to everyone's opinion. I was actually looking forward to the third movie to see the effects of what happened with uh, the loss of Gwen Stacy, but now we're going to get Spider-Man rebooted again. And it's just like, uh, but anyway, I can't do anything about that. But today's review is going to be Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar at the Disneyland Hotel. Hope you enjoy the review. Trader Sam Enchanted Tiki Bar. I've been there a grand total of three times, uh, twice in one trip. Uh, It was last year I went, and this year, um, me and my now fiancé took a time out to go there because we were in California, and we liked it so much we went there again. Um, It opened up in May 2011, I found out about it by different podcasts and whatnot. Uh, apparently, it has also been named one of the fi- top five tiki bars in LA by LA Weekly, which I did not know until uh, doing some more research on the place. Uh, they're actually opening up uh, equivalent to Trader Sam's. I think it's called um, Grog's Grotto. I-, I could be wrong on the name um, in Disney World. Um, it's going to be opening up soon. 
but what it is it's a, it's a little tiki bar next to a restaurant in the courtyard area of the Disneyland Hotel if you go down uh, downtown Disney past the theater you'll start seeing like and past uh, the ESPN zone you'll see a uh, sorcerer's hat if you walk underneath that and then make a left you'll see where uh, little signs will say where Trader Sam's is um, now Trader Sam's is it is a very small place they have a, a he, pretty big outdoor seating area but the inside is small and sometimes there is a line to get in we didn't um, the last time we went was when we encountered a line but I think it's also because we went on a, a Sunday night uh, of a holiday so that might be why uh, it was a line, but the first two times, well, first time we sat outside, uh, second time we sat inside and got in really quickly. So it probably really depends on the night. But inside they have many different uh, memorabilia from Disney rides and movies. Uh, last time I went, sat next to the Indiana Jones, uh, some Indiana Jones stuff. They had the map of like the Temple of Forbidden Eye. Um, I've seen... Uh, other things from Indiana Jones, like uh, letters from uh, well, it's Short Round, and uh, apparently they have the one of the bull whips in there, which I didn't see, but now next time I go, I'm gonna want to see it. They also have a harpoon from uh, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea in there. Um, there's many different little tiki related things and signs uh some from adventurers club at walt disney world which i've never been to um that'd be pretty cool to see if you're a fan of that uh there's also a little uh um, what's it, little buzz and woody tiki representation inside there which was only given to like certain people and they were able to someone were able to give it to them um according to wikipedia there's more than uh 1600 uh, items decorating the interior above the bar there's a, there's many of these there's a, a, a ship in a bottle which we'll, we'll get back to that later and then there's uh, these uh, murals on the side that actually kind of move there's like a mountain and and clouds and ocean and um, which also get back to later along with the ship shipwreck and the interior of the place has a maximum capacity of the same size as a jungle cruise boat uh, which i believe is 47 if i remember correctly i'm trying to look it up here on on the internet and not seeing it in front of me right now but i believe it is 47 and the inside is just it is, it's a great place to hang out, especially if you're inside or outside. It doesn't matter. Inside, if you really want to look at everything, and there's cool effects when you order certain drinks. Um, now, that's where I'm going to get back to some of the stuff I was trying to get back at. Um, there's like four drinks you can get that I know uh, an effect happens. I've seen three out of the four. Um, one is Shipwreck on the Rocks, where... Um, the tiki bartenders there start going oh no we're sinking or something like that and then he'll start spraying a spray bottle like oh the oh this simulates the ocean just having fun with it and that little ship on a bottle will start sinking down into into the bottle and will disappear uh another one is uh the krakatoa punch which uh, those murals of volcano starts erupting and starts getting stormy and everything. That's pretty cool to watch. Um, then this one is the one I haven't seen for the shrunken head. Apparently certain bar stools will start lowering to the floor. Um, I've not seen this one, but then again, I've never really paid attention. Uh, and then there's the big one, which is the uh oh, which is a four person drink. And a lot of people We'll start, uh, the bartender will ring a bell and say the gods have been angered and the, everyone will start chanting Aoa and he'll be spraying bottles like it's beginning to rain and 
this huge big scene and it's it's pretty cool like the atmosphere on the inside is really well especially if you have like a really good uh group of people uh, i've had the the krakatoa punch which is which is pretty good um i'm not much big of a, a drinker person but people do like like the drinks uh some of them you get souvenir mugs uh the krakatoa the one i got you can also buy the bottles separately or not well bottles or glasses whatever you want to call them uh, souvenir mugs uh, you can buy them separately without having to get the drink which is what I'm thinking of doing for some of this stuff because I'm, I'm not a big drinker myself but I love the atmosphere there um, the food the chicken sandwich was right I mean they have a limited menu uh, chicken sandwiches was was okay I liked the wings um, but what you kind of pay for the wings versus how good they are, I don't really think is balanced out. I think they're a little bit overpriced. So I say more of a place to hang out, get a drink, enjoy the atmosphere, look at some of the memorabilia, and enjoy the, the entertainment that is there, uh, and just have a good time. It is a place definitely worth checking out to, if you're a Disney fan, if you like seeing all these little hidden hidden things that are hung throughout the place uh, but yeah if you have time definitely go check it out I know a lot of people uh, because of the internet and learn more about this place start going to check it out but um, yeah, hopefully you can check it out not have to wait too long to get in and have a good time All right, that's it for uh, this episode of Nathan Chu's Disney Review. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. I uh, hope to get back to eventually doing a more of a video-based one uh, after I finish moving. I'll be moving for the next few months uh, just because I'm going to move slowly because it's hard, it's hard to take time off work to move and all that good stuff. So hopefully get back to more of a video format where I'm in front of the camera again for some of it, maybe even for the whole thing. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time. And remember... Be careful, me fine friends. The gods have been angered by all the celebrating.